<laughs> Howdy. Welcome back, guys. We are doing some testing today, joined by Mario Chandler behind the camera. We got Vince that's gonna fish with us. Logan's also there too. New fishing friend right there. But today we're gonna be testing out two things. Well, but they're both fishing products. One is the brand new version two. Where is it, Mario? Right over there. Oh, over there. So we're doing some field testing on the hook to cook perch pouch. Couple changes that we're gonna get into at the end of this video. So after we fish, we'll break down this bad boy right here. There's been a lot of questions, especially since we first released the idea, the concept of this thing. So we have made a bunch of changes and some more changes to come, but at least we get to have you involved in the creation of this thing. A lot of the comments have really helped make this what it is today and it's gonna be even better. Definitely promise. But Mario is actually gonna test it out today. He's gonna to put it on his belt so that he can store his like catch that. as oh. he fishes. So we got that one. We also have the version, the first version with us today. So that's the one I'm gonna be rocking. Basically, uh, it allows you to keep your fish at your side while they're bleeding out in the water and not have it running and rushing around like you would if you just had like a mesh bag or a game clip just dragging around on the, on the ground. And you can fit quite a bit of perch in here. And then the last thing that we're gonna test out is these baits are made by our buddy Tui, but they're pretty special. You'll see when we're actually using them on the water. We use these for the more than fishing tournament and one of our qualifying fish, a 14 and a half incher was caught on this. Please excuse the dry winter hands. But one of the cool things about this bait, it's pretty unique in the sense that it's flat. It's not round and it's just really easy to put on the hook and it has a really nice profile. So we're gonna be throwing that. So hope you guys are excited. Mario, are you excited? I'm excited, yeah. Hopefully we can get some fish in this bag, test it out, see how it performs in the real situation. So I'm excited, I got it all locked and loaded. At the end of the day, we're gonna be fishing with friends, it's gonna be fun, and you guys get to see what we do out here. So we were walking to the spot. <laughs> I'm actually walking back now because some of the guys decided to make some casts and they stumbled across a hot bite. And Mario already has one fish in the perch pouch. Let's watch him get another one. Another fish on. Heavier fish, that's for sure. Fire. Oh, come on, wave, don't crash. Oh, slap. Get up there. Woo. Look at that. Look at that. Gotta be a 15, 16. Oh, baby. Oh, -ho -ho. that's a good one. Look at that. Well, let's tie on the Carolina rig and see what we can do. But we'll take a closer look at Tui's bait and how it's sitting on the hook. It's it's really nice. I think you guys will like it. I got these at Been There Caught That. I'll leave a link below where you can give them a call and put in an order if you want. But yeah, six bucks, you get a bunch of them. But here's what's really unique about it is it's a flat bait, see? Flat. But what that allows you to do, unlike those round baits, it really allows you to get right in the center of it, right in the middle when you're threading it on. So there's less chance that it's gonna get all fouled up and start rolling. So look how that looks. Let's give her a go. The hook that I put this on is a size three. I'll leave a link below where you can pick up a hundred pack for like eight bucks. I got a one and a half ounce Carolina rig. The wave power today is really low. We're looking at about a under 200 wave power. So, 
the odds of sweeper waves are very minimal today. It's actually really ideal because there's no wind today either. Wind today is gonna max out at four miles an hour. So that's really nice. Today I'm using the Okuma Hawaiian Custom Rod, rated to cast from half ounce all the way to three quarter ounce. I have it paired with a Shimano Nasky 4000. And on this I have 30 pound braid to a 25 pound top shot that my Carolina rig is sliding on. But this is definitely a more budget friendly setup. You could get everything here for, even including line, for around 250 bucks. But it's definitely quality gear, but it also doesn't break the bank too terribly. All of this I bought at Been There Caught That. All the boys are throwing battle stars and Kalisas. So I might give it, I'm gonna give them a little bit different presentation. Smaller presentation. But big fish still eat little baits. Don't forget that. There's a fish. Got one. Oh! <laughs> There's a fish. Got a decent one on. I plan on keeping like four fish today. I don't plan on keeping a whole limit. But yeah, if you want to catch a bunch of nice quality medium fish, this is definitely the way to go. It's a good fish on the grub. The flip-flops and socks grub right there. Definitely get you some and try it. This allows you to catch quantity, not guaranteed quality, but quantity, but you'll get some quality mixed in there too. But again, I, I just like that it's different than most other soft plastic paddle tails is the fact that it's flat. To me, that means that it, there's gonna be less rotation and it's just easy to put on the hook. Got the fish. <laughs> Beautiful. On that grub. grub. On the grub. Everyone's been nailing the bigger ones though on the... You let her go? Or yeah, I'm gonna let her go, yeah. Okay. Get her in deeper water. But I think I will switch to a jerk bait here pretty soon. Can't let the guys have all the fun. But it's definitely a good small profile. I like, I like the flip-flops and socks bait. Yeah, the first time I used it was the More Than Fishing Tournament. And one of our qualifying fish, a 14 and a half inch fish, came on this grub. So the big ones definitely eat it. And if the bite's a little farther out, then this is a good option for sure. That's for sure. That's a good one. That's a good size. Yeah. I just picked up two others a little bit bigger than this. So how many do you have in the bag so, so far? This is number five right here. Number five in the bag. I'm about to put number five. So yeah, the, the biggest benefit, well, one of the biggest benefits is when you catch a fish, you don't have to stop, move up the beach, and put it away in your backpack. You can kind of keep it all on you until the bite dies down. Then you can sneak away, empty your bag, and repeat the process. It is getting heavy. It is getting a little heavy. It's pulling off my hip here. Well, your waders also don't have um, yeah, the no belt, loops. no belt loops. Yeah. Yeah. So it helps to have belt loops. That's for sure. Yeah. You might as well empty out. Well empty it, yeah. I mean, what do you have in there? Six? Five. Five. Five or six? Yeah. Okay. Get this spot right here, brother. Okay. Hey, you know what time it is? What? What time is it? Battle star time! Woo! <laughs> yeah. Let's go! I can't catch any more sub sub 13 inch fish. Oh! oh. Yeah! That's so funny. Epic. I love that. Let's go. It's time. <laughs> it's time. This is the new glow white that uh, Vince just released right now. I like the white pattern when it's bright sunshine like this because I feel like sometimes the metallic is just too overwhelming. I do really good on the metallic when it's more cloudy day. There you go, bud. Number six. Bro, that is a toad. Is that a tank? Oh, that is yeah. That's a tank. Beautiful. That is a tank, Mario. <laughs> Dude, Whoa. that's 16 all day. Damn. I think. I think We're on them. <laughs> that's a monster. 
we back. Jeez. Whoa. Feels good. <laughs> Just a slow, steady retrieve. Nothing different. Dude, that is a monster. Is that a tournament winner? Yeah. <laughs> What does a 15 and a half look like in that pouch? <laughs> right, let's see. At first. Yeah, it, it actually fits really nice. Boom. Yeah, like nothing. Yeah, so now he gets so. to bleed the fish out in the bag. In the water. In the water yeah. instead of in his backpack. Yeah. That's Beautiful. Sick. Oh, right there. Oh. There's a fish. Oh. Really close. Oh, right there again. It's a nice fish. So close. See what you've been missing out on while you've been hunting? Know, right? This fish is so close. I was almost at the end of my retrieve pulling it off. Looks like Vince's got a good one. Chandler's in the background bringing one in. Nice one. Oh, nice one. Behind you, behind you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> another slab. Pretty big? It's a pretty big one? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a tilapia. That's another tank. He ate the middle treble. Really close, guys. That's another tank, guys. Yeah, he wanted that middle treble. Both the ones that hit in close want that middle treble. So this is winter fishing at its finest. Big perch eating jerk baits. They're all big, very rarely pregnant. This is the time to get them, December. And on this channel, we do do playlists and we have a December playlist. A lot of them are big perch <laughs> videos. Monster. Oh my gosh. That's a toad, guys. That is a certified toad. All the boys hooking up right now. Look at Mario's got one too. That's a tank, bro. This is a winter slab right here. That's a winter slab. Another quality, quality fish. All right, so I am done fishing this spot and I was able to catch four really nice perch. Actually three like good quality, like over 14 inches. Uh, and one of them's like around an 11 or 12 incher. They've been bleeding out as I've been fishing, but now it's kind of a little bit of a lull in the action. So now is a good time to stop, empty the bag, and get ready for that next blitz. So this is version one. We started off with these carabiners and uh, they work good, but there's actually a simpler way that we're gonna do it on the final version. That'll make it easy to unclip. But just so you know, this is 20 inches from here to here. On the newest version, it's actually 22 inches so that you can measure a halibut. And this tape measure on the first version goes to 15, but we want it to go to 18. Why? Because the legal keeper size striped bass is 18, so it's perfect. You'll be able to measure that. And since the new bag that Mario has on is 22 inches. You can catch a halibut and you'll still be able to make sure that it's a legal keeper halibut. But now I just have to empty all at once, put my catch nice and clean into my backpack. I usually just carry a plastic bag and keep some fish in there, but we've definitely been catching some winter slabs. That's for sure and they slide out nice and easy not like a not like one of those mesh bags but yeah look at these look at these monsters those are both like 14 14 and a half inch barred surf perch right there but yeah so those are a few of the changes on the perch pouch just as an update but we're working on it again keep an eye out first quarter of 20 23 we're gonna make some some changes but it'll be really easy to use just like that I was able to fish the hole nice and easy 
and effectively. I didn't have to stop every time I caught a fish. I didn't have to come up the beach, take my backpack off, do all that. And then once the blitz slows down, come back to the beach, put them in your bag, and you're good to go. So how was your day? We rocked it today, guys. Pulled the limit today, mainly slabs. It's actually, I don't know what, five or six, 14 plus, and then a couple of smaller 12s, 13s, but overall good day. Um, as far as the perch pouch, I really think that that's gonna be uh, very helpful in the surf, especially like if you're on a hole where you're pulling out, you know, every other cast you're bringing a fish in, a keeper, you can just put them right in the bag. And then once you're done, get tired, whatever, walk up to the beach, put them all back into your backpack or whatever, and then hit, uh, continue walking down the road. But overall, it was a really good experience. I'm happy with it. I think it'll do good. Anything you noticed that, uh, about it and actually using it that you didn't think you'd, you know, you, you didn't think of? It's not, it's not heavy. Even if there's fish in the bag, there's not a lot of weight to it. I mean, three fish is what, five pounds, six pounds maybe, but it doesn't feel like it's very heavy at all. So it's not like a hindrance. Like if I put them on my backpack, I feel it on my shoulders. I feel the weight on my shoulders. With this, it's cake. You know, you can walk all day, you know, with some extra weight on your hip, but once it's in the bag, it's a little heavier. Mm -hmm. And then did you notice anything when you were fishing and like uh, knee high or thigh high waves came? Um, one thing, a couple of times when the, when the backwash was coming out, the bag kind of went in between my legs. So, you know, that was, wasn't a big deal. Um, but it did kind of flutter in between my legs a little bit and then just kind of readjusted, turned a little bit and it went out with the wave. One way to solve that would be if you, your next pair of waders, if you had belt loops, then right. it wouldn't slide to the front right, right. And, and get you. Yeah. But cool, that's freaking yeah. exciting. What's the retail yeah. price on this? Do we have a uh, no, estimated we, retail we, yet? We don't have an no? estimated okay. MSRP. Right. No, but trying to keep it low, trying to keep it like close, un under that $40 range. Uh -huh. Cause like, if you think about it, when you buy two jerk baits, that's already like 30 bucks or, right. or 40 bucks right there. It's gotta be in that price range. That's kind of like a no brainer. So that's what my aim is, is to keep it in that under $40 range. But we'll see. We're still gonna do some different changes. So some of the materials might be more expensive. Some of the things that we're using just to make sure it's gonna last a long time. Still a couple changes. What I wanna do is I wanna make it easy to take off, easier than it currently is. And then a little bit more durability built in. And then other than that, the conditions today were amazing. It's currently noon and still no wind. The wind was at our back pretty much the whole day. <clears throat> Peak low tide was 8 a.m. and we were fishing all incoming tide and we just caught some slabs. This is like one of the best winter yeah. fishing oh, that yeah. we've done. Like two years ago, it was really, really good when we yeah. went out and this was kind of like a reliving that. So one tip is on surfforecast.com, the wave power was really low. So we went out to a beach that's totally unprotected, mm -hmm. just knowing that if you go to a more protected beach, it would be like a lake and it'd be non-existent. A non-existent bite, most likely. And then in terms of flip-flops and socks, baits, if you guys like Carolina rigging, that's your thing, it's a good bait to have. Give them a try. You can order them at beentherecaughtthat.com or visit the store or give them a call. But with that being said, thanks for joining. If you have any questions, leave it below. But speaking of two winters ago. I'm going to leave a <laughs> video right here of when Mario and I... Yeah, slay fests. Mm. It was great. Mm. Still on the Kalisa too. It was still on the Kalisa. Those were the days. Welcome back. It might be coming back. Yeah, it might be coming <laughs> back.